Alright everybody, today I got uh, this knife here. This is a, huh, a knife a guy brought to work. Let's see if I can do anything with it. It's a mossy oak stockman. You can see he uh, filmed this when he's camping. And uh, he's had it for a good while and he just wanted to know if I could do anything with it. He also brought in a very expensive blackjack knife. And I told him, I said, you got to take that and send it somewhere else. Had a recurve blade on it and stuff like that. So I'm not set up to deal with that. This right here, I could probably clean this up and make it look good. So I got some of this guy I work out with. He was at the parts store and found some Never Doll. Never used it. So I'm going to try and see what happens. So I'll get back with you here when I'm ready. So basically what you do with this stuff is you just... I mean, you just rip it out of there. It's a tub like this, and you just rip a chunk off and you just rub it on there. Neighbors are getting their yard mowed, which is okay, because the guy who mows our yard's from West Virginia. Now here, it's hard to run into people from West Virginia, so very nice people. I talk to them all the time. Very good dude. So yeah. We look at how well that cleaned up. I mean, just a matter of a minute. So yeah, it works pretty good. All right, so if we look at this knife now, this was probably five minutes of work. I would say five to six minutes spent on this, just with that never doll. This stuff right here. And I just ripped off this little piece right here, did it all. This one little chunk took care of all that. So I'll clean her up a little more though, but this is just, you know, just getting her started. What was it tell you? It's hot out here today. Whew. But I've only hit this on medium, uh, the coarse and medium, and it's already getting a little sticky. So I'm going to move a couple more minutes on the medium, then go over to the fine. I just didn't think I needed to record this whole video of me sharpening. I think you guys have seen. Lots of people use stones on YouTube before, so I just wanted to show this new, this new Never Doll stuff I, a guy I work out with picked up for me in a parts store. So stuff works pretty good, and it don't scratch a blade up, which is what I like. That's what I need to find something you can work with and not scratch a blade. So I'm gonna get back at this for a minute. Yeah, we got this sheep's foot blade a little sharp. Now we're kind of gonna move to stropping a little bit. Uh, Load this drop up a little bit more. The black. Let this sit out in the sun for a little bit. Try to soften some of this stuff up. But just collar it in like a little kid with a collaring book, kind of. Black is I think 3,000. Green on the other side six. I just do it a couple different ways. I don't know what's right or wrong. I just kind of do my own thing on this. So sticky. I said with each compound you want to use a fresh paper towel. You, know, you kind of don't want to lay your compound or your strop on something like that either. Always try to keep it on a clean surface that way your strop don't get loaded up with a bunch of contaminants. I like using it both ways as well. Oh boy, someone's got a squeaky fan belt. Let's wipe 
this off. Oh, it's sticky. It is sticky. Boy. You kind of want to keep all your stuff separate, your contaminants and everything, so. Oh, yeah. She don't want to bite. She don't want to bite. That looks like it leads a little more work. We'll just keep on stropping it and I'll get back with you when we get to the green. Right, it was hot out there, all my paper was wet, but I came inside and got me some some of this newspaper shit. So we'll see. We'll see if it'll run through that. Oh man, yeah. I don't know. It's fairly sharp. They should be good to go. All right, we took this knife here to 12,000 grit on the white, on my homemade strop. Had a nick in the middle of the blade. And I'm just trying to, I'm trying to work it out. So I don't know what's happening. And what we're gonna do now is just test all these blades and see if they're sharp or not. I don't hardly have any hair left on my legs. But. That one works. Let's try this little spade blade. Oh yeah. <laughs> now let's try the old clip point. It's got a clip point like a, a muskrat blade on it. This knife here does. So. Oh yeah. Takes it right off there. Clean shaving, boys. Guess that'll work. All right, so we finished sharpening this knife up. You've seen what it'll do to my leg, take the hair right off of it. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, what I like to do to all my knives is, to protect them is just uh, throw some wicked wax on the blades. That way, if he gets this knife and uh, doesn't open up for a few months or gets humid or something it'll be protected he won't, he won't have to worry about uh, soreness or what's going to happen to it and it definitely gonna look like it did before so we're just gonna just get a coat on my fingers and put her on each blade uh, it ain't got to be a lot even get the back of the blade Those two. I think the one we got left it right now is the clip point. Yeah. So let's get that. Then he can get it and he can uh, not uh, worry about it. We'll get the back of these blades here. Real good. All right. Uh, that's it. That's my video on tuning up this uh, old mossy oak stockman that was found in the woods. <laughs> uh, but now it'll be a knife that uh, he can use and not worry about it you know so there it is in all of her glory you guys have a good one